Hi, my name is Colin and I'm a developer on the Sanka project. I'd love to walk you through our submission for the Kanto Hackathon. So this is Sanka, fully Web3 native credit score. I'm gonna go through the problem, the solution, and the problems we seek to solve, why Kanto, the team, and possible next steps for Sanka. First of all, the problem, we all know that there is an issue with limited capital efficiency due to a lack of DeFi risk assessment, meaning that it is impossible to offer loans in a decentralized way uh, that are under collateralized. Second, elevated borrowing costs for extending credit on chain. Three, the limitation of the current Web3 credit rating system. So issues with the current attempts at scoring addresses on chain, first of all, is gonna be transparency. Models are hosted off chain on Web2 infrastructure, but they're kept as proprietary. Second, explainability. These are complex machine learning models that are difficult to explain, hard to understand, and even tougher to iterate upon. Also, readability. So data, data pipelines are dependent on privately hosted infrastructure. Really want, ideally, a truly DeFi native credit score to be a public good that's accessible to all at any time by nature of the protocol. We're working on a solution called Sanka. It's a Web3 native public good. It's a fully transparent. It's easy to interpret. There are going to be no Web2 dependencies, and it is also community driven. So, Sanka uses the principles of Bayesian inference to calculate a score. So, for an example, if we use Kanto's liquidity market, we could assume that a user's score would either approve or worsen over time the more and more they use the protocol. If we gather all these events, these credit events, we could find a beta distribution and use them to model a Bernoulli random variable, uh, which has like a zero to one outcome. From that distribution, we could expect value of probability of like default or liquidation. So how likely a user is to pay or repay or default or be liquidated. And then from that probability, we can apply a curve over time and translate that to a Sanka score. So just a quick deep dive on the beta distribution. Alpha represents a good metric and beta represents a bad credit metric. So as alpha increases relative to beta, the credit quality of the borrower improves. So we've created a whole bunch of increment functions discussed more in the white paper to determine how to migrate and score credit behavior over time based on these different on-chain events from different protocols. Once you have this alpha and beta distribution, you can put together a score. So the score is just simply a probability of default and liquidation. We translate into a Sanka score with zero being a 0% chance of being a good borrower and 100 being 100% chance of being a good borrower and repaying. So we use an optimistic attestation model for this. As we know, computing all these values on chain would be incredibly expensive. So we use a model similar to optimistic bridging, which basically allows users to self-attest to their own credit score. Here we'd have two smart contracts that run on chain. The first would be the Sanka controller contract, which would store an IPFS hash of the latest scoring model script. That would be determined by DAO votes or something like that. It'd be a fair way to have the community drive updates to score given a certain protocol like Aave or Maker. So the first step, the user would generate their own score given a few different protocols and do the latest scoring model script on their own local machine. Then they would attest to their own score on the Sanka score contract, sending tokens as a honesty escrow. So a user's score would be stored with a certain checksum ID, and this would emit an on-chain event. This on-chain event score and checksum could be run by all the credit sentinels in a network to ensure that a self-attestation was valid. In other words, they just run the code and check the work because there could be a reward. And in step four, both Sentinels and users have a four hour or two hour cure window to report fraud. Find any fraudulent attestations, they would receive the honesty escrow. Otherwise, that honesty escrow gets returned to the user and their score is considered safe to use across the ecosystem. So the three use cases that we can think of here specifically are lending. So you could do under collateralized lending. You could have some sort of on-chain trust metric. You could also start to leverage these things into a reputation score. So why Kanto? There might be a good value alignment here between Sanka and Kanto, specifically given their mission to provide public DeFi infrastructure. We also think that Kanto is a pretty efficient network of collateralized liquidity. You know, and in a nod to public goods, which the three of us are a fan of, we like the mission statement of ecosystem over extraction and user over profits. This is the team. We've got Saki, our brew chemist, our quant and mathematician who put together the phase inference and alpha beta distribution models. Colin Nielsen, artisan barista. I'm the dev on the project working on the optimistic credit model. Dev on the project working on the optimistic credit attestation model. Then we have Daniel Ritchie, Bean Procurement, who handles all things BD, marketing, and communications. 
So our next steps for Sanka is we're going to solicit some feedback and we'd love to hear what you have to say. And we really plan on using this Canto Hackathon as a sounding board for this idea. Second is we're gonna make a go, no go technical decision on whether or not this thing can be really implemented in the real world. Second, we're gonna make a go, no go decision on technical implementation feasibility. Three, we're gonna explore more of the Canto ecosystem. And hopefully by that time we can lift stealth mode and just start building. Thanks for watching our presentation for the Canto Hackathon. We hope that you like it and we can't wait to hear your feedback.